एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट A simple pendulum of length L having a bob of mass m is deflected from its rest position by an angle theta and is released. The string hits a peg which is fixed at a distance x below the point of suspension and the bob starts going in a circle centered at the peg. A assume that initially the bob has a height less than the peg so that the maximum height reached by the bob equals its initial height. B if the pendulum is released with theta is equal to 90 degree and x is equal to L by 2 Find the maximum height reached by the bob above its lowest position before the string becomes slack. C. Find the minimum value of x by l for which the bob goes in a complete circle about the peg when the pendulum is released from theta is equal to 90 degree. Let us first look at this animation to understand properly what actually is happening in the question. As we can see, when bob crosses the lowest point, the string hits the peg and bob starts moving in a circle with smaller radius. As is clear from the animation, when bob reaches the extreme right, its speed becomes momentarily zero. Also, when bob was released from its initial position, its speed was zero. So the bob does not have any initial kinetic energy, nor does it have any kinetic energy in its final position. Besides, there is no work done by any external force in the string, bob, and gravity system. So the initial gravitational potential energy of the system must be equal to its final gravitational potential energy, and therefore the final height of the bob must be same as the initial height. For the second part of the question, let us first look at the animation for this situation. Now let us look at the motion in greater detail. As the bob moves up, its speed decreases, and after a point when centrifugal force acting on it is insufficient to overcome the gravity, the string becomes slack. The bob leaves the circular path and have a free fall motion on a parabolic path. Let us go back to the point where bob leaves the circular path and string becomes slack for the first time. Furthermore, let us assume that the string makes an angle phi with the vertical. Looking at the free body diagram of the bob, a gravitational force will act on it in vertically downward direction. From simple geometry, we know that gravitational force two makes an angle phi with the string, and hence the component of gravitational force along the string will be mg cos phi. A centrifugal force mv square by r will act on radially outward direction. As given in the question, the radius here is l by two. Therefore, the centrifugal force is two mv square by l. Since the string is just slack at this instant, it does not apply any tension on the body. Balancing the force along the string, we get 2 mv square by l is equal to mg cos phi, which implies half mv square is equal to 1 by 4 mg l cos phi. Now let us look at the energy. Since the length of the string from the peg to the bob is l by 2, the height of the bob above peg is l by 2 cos phi. This means that bob has descended by l by 2 into 1 minus cos phi from its initial height. This decrease in gravitational potential energy must have provided the kinetic energy that bob has. Therefore, mg l by 2 into 1 minus cos phi must be equal to half mv square. Putting the value of half mv square from equation 1 into equation 2, we get mg l by 2 into 1 minus cos phi is equal to 1 by 4 mg l cos phi, which implies 2 into 1 minus cos phi is equal to cos phi, which implies 3 cos phi is equal to 2, which implies cos phi is 2 by 3. Now, the height of the bob from its lowest position is l by 2 plus l by 2 cos phi. Which is equal to l by 2 plus l by 2 into 2 by 3, which is equal to 5 l by 6. This is our answer. For the third part of the question, let us assume that the speed of the bob at the lowest point is v. Since at the lowest point bob has descended by distance l from its initial position, its kinetic energy half mv square must be equal to change in its potential energy, that is mg l. Also, we know that the minimum speed at the lowest position required to complete the vertical circle is root 5 gr. Therefore, mg l is equal to m into 5 gr by 2. Since radius r is equal to l minus x, therefore l is equal to 5 into l minus x by 2, which implies 2 l is equal to 5 l minus 5 x, which implies 3 l is equal to 5 x, which implies x by l is equal to 3 by 5. That is 0.6. This is our answer. To request solution of any question from H C B M A B O K, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.